The TCL 10 Pro isn't a good phone for 450 bucks. It's a great phone. But today I'm going to share with you seven features that I absolutely dig about the TCL 10 Pro and one, uh, not so much. Okay, let's do this. Break it down with phone. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Liron Segev, where I talk about Wi-Fi and gadgets and tech tips and phones and how to. If you're into that kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button below and let's get on to today's show. Now TCL very kindly sent me this phone about a month ago. I've been using it ever since and they're seeing this for the very first time like you are. So firstly, let's address the big elephant that's in the room and that's TCL Android support. They have officially confirmed that it's going to get at least Android 11. It comes with Android 10 in the box and there'll be security patches every two months for at least two years. Okay, now with that out the way, let's get into the seven bits that I absolutely love about the phone and the one, eh, not so much. Storage is critical to have on the phone. A lot of the Android phones do allow you to expand your storage with a micro SD, except for <coughs> one brand which doesn't. And to be honest, I got a little bit worried when I was looking around the edges of the 10 Pro, I couldn't find a slot to insert the micro SD card. I did discover where it was, underneath the tray where the SIM is, there's a slot specifically for that. Everything is nice and neat into the phone. Great that they included that as an option. Let's talk about the smart key. Now, this is a physical button that you can actually map, and there's a couple of options that you can do with it. There is single press, there is long press, there is double press, and each one of those can actually do something different on the phone. And no, it's not limited to only a handful of gestures that you can do with it, but you can actually launch application with this as well. This is brilliant, and you're gonna use it much more than you think you will. You see what this is? This is a headphone jack. Look, don't get me wrong, I love my Bluetooth as much as the next person, but there is one thing to be said about having the headphone jack back. You know, when you do a lot of traveling, one of the big concerns is about your battery usage. The more Bluetooth you have on, the more that it drains the battery. The TCL actually has infrared, welcome back. Only a handful of phones still carry the infrared, like the Xiaomi or the Huawei phones. It actually comes with a built-in universal remote application. And look, this makes a lot of sense. You're chilling on the couch anyway, odds are pretty good that you got your phone in your hands whilst you're watching TV, the second screen, and then you can control your TV, your air conditioning, your sound system, anything that a remote control can control. It's all from the phone, it's all built in, and this is pretty darn awesome. The TCL 10 Pro does come with a 4,500 milliamp hour battery, which basically lasts you the entire day. Now, the cool thing is, quick charge is built into this, 50% at about 30 minutes of charging, and a full charge at about an hour and a half, hour and 20 minutes. Now, the speakers on the phone are pretty darn loud as well, but they do seem to be mono and not stereo for whatever that's worth. One of the hallmarks, obviously, of a phone is its camera. So this is now coming to you off the front-facing camera, and we'll go for a bit of a walk, and I'm gonna show you some of the cool features. And this is now a test with the front-facing camera. The EIS is off. Lots of bounce there seems to be. 1080p, I'm gonna switch it back on now. Right, front-facing camera, the EIS is now on. I can see a remarkable difference already. So this is a test straight off the phone at 1080p with the EIS off. Now the EIS is on, the 1080p, the audio you're hearing is coming straight off the phone. Users of this phone who just want a simple point and shoot style camera to get great images are not going to be disappointed with the quad rear cameras, also great selfie mode, and it's got a 10 times digital zoom, which does pixelate, of course, the more that you zoom in. If you do want to play with the professional settings, it has that as well. Stop motion is awesome and slow-mo as well, you can see, does not disappoint. Okay, let's talk about my one complaint. And the one complaint is the fact that it's got a curved edge, but the software kind of isn't built for that yet. So when you're watching a YouTube video or you're trying to play a game, a lot of the options are actually on the curved edge of that screen. That can get really frustrating and does take away from the experience. Hopefully that's a software update that can actually be fixed because I do like the curved screen. I'm just not a big fan of the way that it's been implemented into this phone. What do you guys think of the phone? Let me know in the comments. If this is your first time here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right below here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and see you in a lot more of these videos down here. Go check them out. Let's go.